A very good afternoon to all of you. Thank you very much for joining uh, this weekly media briefing. I don't have any announcements as such. I slowly, I will. I saw your hand first. I'll, I'll come, come to it. Yeah, go ahead. So, Risha from uh, Times Now. Okay. So, we have seen uh, airstrikes uh, in Myanmar territory very close to Indian borders, and two villages have been destroyed. The photos have come out. What's uh, MEA's take on that? India's Indian MEA's take on that? Which one? The recent one? The recent Which one, the day before yesterday. Okay, fair enough. Uh, whose name was? Yeah, go ahead, Yashi. I'll come. I'll come to you. Uh, uh, Yeshi Seli from the New Indian Express. Two questions. One, of course, on Qatar. Let's start with one. Okay, we'll start. Oh, what, um, uh, can you give us some insight on what is happening? These guys have been charged individually. Oh, um, Qatar? Uh, the a naval officers. How long is the road ahead? Any uh, chances of repatriation? Okay, fair enough. Shalendra? Uh, sir, Shalendra News 18. You have seen that the Pakistan Foreign Ministry has a statement that they have been in Kashmir in the G20 meeting. What is your reaction to this? I'll come to it. Yeah, Siddhant. Uh, sir, Siddhant from Vion. Uh, sir, we have seen China encircling uh, Taiwan uh, and doing military drills. How do you how does India see these developments, given that China has been provocative with India as well in past few weeks, including by coming out with new invented names? Okay. I'll come to you. Let me next one. So, Pranay Vipad, ABP News. Sir, in the SEO in the SCO countries, in the SCO countries, in the SCO Pakistan, China, or the SCO countries, is there confirmation that they have been uh, iske baad foreign ministers meeting bhi honi hai kuch hi din mein to in dono meetings ke bare mein agar aap bata sakte hain um let me start with your question rusha um look we have seen um, disturbing reports of violence on uh, april 11 uh, near uh, kanbalu township in the sagian region i think it's called of myanmar as a neighbor and friend of the people of myanmar we have repeatedly called for cessation of violence by all sides and peaceful resolution of all issues. India reiterates its call for a return of peace, stability, and democracy in Myanmar. Uh, Yashi, on your question regarding uh, Qatar, look, we have been trying to get you updates as we have. Of course, uh, they don't always follow with our weekly schedule, so sometimes we are unable to get you a specific update. Um, this week, as I, as I mentioned to you, uh, last time we were discussing, this is now uh, in the legal process, uh, more formal in the legal process. Let me emphasize that we are making all efforts to assist um, these Indians who are detained. Um, and we are also extending consular assistance as well as legal assistance as part of the, of the system, uh, legal process that is underway. Uh, we are also engaged with the Qatari authorities. Our embassy in Doha uh, continues to remain in touch with the families. Um, and I understand that the next date of the hearing, the last date I think was 29th of March, the next date of the hearing is in early May, uh, and we are trying to see what can be done before that and in connection with that uh, hearing. I don't have any specific uh, update apart from this. Um, Shailendra, you asked a uh, Pakistan uh, statement. Tha, unka ek tha. Look, in G20, they uh, actually comment on uh, issues on both issues, on both places. ये जो G20 के जो events हो रहे हैं, ये जो meetings हो रही हैं, ये पूरे भारत में और मतलब भारत के हर क्षेत्र में हो रही हैं, organized की जा रही हैं, और इसमें जम्मू और कश्मीर में और लद्दाख में करना बहुत natural है, और क्योंकि ये जगह हम हमेशा से भारत के भिन्न और अभिवाज्य अंक मानते हैं और हमारे हैं इसीलिए मैं इतना ही कहूँगा कि हर हर क्षेत्र में कर रहे हैं और ये हमारे नेचुरल रिस्पांस है कि हम यही करेंगे। सिद्धांत, on your comment, look, I you made certain suppositions. I'm not getting into that. I think on the South China Sea, we have we have made our position quite clear. I don't have an immediate comment on the recent developments, but we have talked about a rules-based order and the need to maintain peace and uh, resolve issues uh, by dialogue, as well as our position on, um, you know, dispute, settlement of disputes there. Um, as regards on a bilateral issues with China, you, are, you all know our position. So I think those are slightly different, and um, we have been, I, I don't think there's a change in either of them uh, with the recent developments. Uh, Pranay, you had mentioned, um, you had mentioned SCO, 
कि अभी मीटिंग्स हैं कुछ सिर्फ ये दोनों नहीं आपने सिर्फ रक्षा मंत्रियों की बैठक की जिक्र की है और फॉरन मिनिस्टर वाले भी है देखिए मैं जैसा कहा हम इन्विटेशन सबको भेजते हैं कॉन्फ्रेंस आते रहते हैं मैं हर मीटिंग का उस तरह से कॉन्फ्रेंसन रखता नहीं हूँ आप आई नो मीडिया चाहते हैं कि हर मीटिंग हमें बता पाऊँ पर मीटिंग के पहले पता चल जाना चाहिए वो डिफरेंट मिनिस्ट्रीज भी हैंडल करती हैं सर्टली फॉरेन मिनिस्ट्री वाले मीटिंग के लिए हम आपको बता देंगे कैसा पार्टिसिपेशन है हम तो एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे कि हर कोई हर मेंबर अटेंड करें ओके नेक्स्ट राउंड आई थिंक आई सॉ योर हैंड वेलकम टू यू या गो एट so aisha grown from ai uh, so ukrainian first deputy foreign minister was here in new delhi and she has urged india to consider the participation of representatives from ukraine for g20 meetings and she has also said that uh, uh, president zelensky would sorry uh, could you repeat your question uh, she has urged participation of ukrainian officials some representatives of ukraine for g20 meetings and she has also said that president zelensky would be happy to speak on that yeah that's more yeah. what i remember uh, i wanted to know if there are any discussions on that uh, uh, or if you are considering to invite any representative for kiev either virtually or physically okay fair enough shashank thank you sir uh shang matu from the mint uh the foreign minister is currently in uh, mozambique there is a uh, total energy operated uh, pro- project that has been uh, it is a 30% indian stake by indian oil companies and it has been currently uh, shuttered because of terrorist attacks and instability uh this is expected uh, the restarting of this project is going to expectedly help with india's energy security does the foreign minister plan to raise this uh, issue with uh, with the mozambique government मधुरेंद्र मैं न्यूज़ नेशन से सर हाल की तस्वीरें डोकलाम के ट्राई जंक्शन से आई है जहाँ पर काफ़ी बिल्डअप चीन की तरफ से देखा जा रहा है और डिप्लॉयमेंट भी लगातार बढ़ते जा रहे हैं नहीं आ, कहां दिख, डिप्लॉयमेंट दिखी जा रही है डोकलाम के ट्राई जंक्शन पे जहाँ 2016 में हमारी और चीन के बीच आ, काफी तनाव बढ़ा था वहाँ पर काफी बिल्डअप देखा जा रहा है डिप्लॉयमेंट भी देखा जा रहा है क्या भारत ने इसको कंसर्न लिया है और अगर लिखा है तो क्या जवाब है मैंने और एक हाथ देखा था नहीं so first of all there have been all these reports that uh, india has called off trade talks with britain because of all this khalistan issues you have of course spoken about it but is a delegation going to london in the last week of april and also this would be the first time ever is an iit going to be set up in tanzania uh, now that external affairs minister will also be we got nothing to do the other question no, no. Sir, sir okay uh, sorry i was completely uh, taken away so um, why don't i just come back to you on this first just time i think an iit will be set up outside i will the i'll come back to you on that one let me just come back to another question um there was one more hand i saw earlier oh yours up yeah kalol i'll come back to the second questions in a minute um kalol from the hindu um we saw the reports today that um FEMA has been sort of slapped on BBC, and uh, I'm not actually getting to that. I'm getting to the earlier concerns about Khalistan that India had with the United States. Sorry, Kingdom. sorry. What uh, BBC or Khalistan? What is your question? Yeah, the question is that I'm you get one question. Tell me which. What is yeah, your question? Uh, were you satisfied with the, the British response to your demands of action against the Khalistan elements uh, in the United okay. Kingdom, and is today's uh, action against BBC? an indian response of british delay in uh, acting against khalistan elements sorry I didn't get your question at all in the second part i will come back to your first question uh, okay let me try this round of questions or some other second round i'll take um are you sure you asked about the issue of um, invite you know as you know the first deputy foreign minister of ukraine was here uh your specific question was whether uh, invitation has been extended you said to officials or and you said president of uh, ukraine would be happy to speak um look i think we have answered this question uh, in the past um, on occasions i think including by foreign secretary um to be honest i have no nothing to add um to that for the moment in terms of participation i think our foreign secretary had mentioned about the list of participants having been already declared um so i i don't have any update on that um shashank on your query look i think um external affairs minister is just about landing in mozambique i don't want to prejudge what he will discuss yes of course what you mentioned is a is an element 
uh, there in our bilateral relationship, whether he will take it up or not, let the visit happen and hopefully we'll be able to get back, um, back to you with more info. Uh, Madhurendra ji, Tri Junction ke upar ya Doklam issue pe, pichle hafte jab actually jab visit hui thi, um, uh, humare uh, Bhutan se, uh, Bhutan ke raja aaye the, to us samay detail mein is baare mein kaha gaya tha aur bataya gaya tha ki hum kis tarah se dekhte hain aur security situation mein kis tarah se hum nazar rakhte hain. Uh, मुझे उसके बाद और कुछ ऐड करने के लिए अभी है नहीं मेरे पास इस हफ्ते और कोई स्पेसिफिक आपने जनरली कहा कि कुछ हो रहा है वहां पे मैं कमेंट नहीं करना चाहूंगा हां मैं मैं कह रहा हूं जो, जो सिक्योरिटी इश्यूज होती हैं उस पे हम नजर रखते हैं जो नेसेसरी हम मेजर लेनी होती है हम लेते हैं पर ऐसा कोई पर्टिकुलर अपडेट नहीं मेरे पास ऑन योर स्पेसिफिक ऑफ ट्रेड आई वुड रेफर यू टू Twenty fourth to twenty eighth, or, or around that period, there is next round of talks on the you know India UK possible FTA. But if you want a little more details on that, let's leave it to the trade negotiators rather than me getting into the details. Uh, your second question, I'll come back to you on that. I, I'll I'll place it out. Um, Kalol, your question I didn't understand, so let me uh, answer what I understood, which I answered last week. Are we satisfied with um, you know action taken? Uh, against the vandalism and attacks uh, at the High Commission. Look, as I mentioned, the issue is not of satisfaction. We wanted to see action on the ground. We have been urging um, host countries, including the UK, to take action against those uh, who vandalize the our flag and as well as you know, our High Commission. Uh, identify them, uh, take action in the perpetrators. My suggestion would be ask them on what action they've taken. We are certainly pressing them to continue to take measures to ensure security of premises, security, safety of our personnel, um, diplomatic and consular personnel who are there in London. So, and this is the ongoing conversation that we are having with the UK authorities. Um, next round of questions. Uh, Shunja, since you, your second question I didn't ask, could you ask it again? What was your second question? For the first time since independence, ah, IIT. India is looking to have an IIT outside the country. And this could well be in Tanzania. We also know that EM is going to go there. Is an announcement likely? Yes, going to go there. Okay. Um, you have who had a second question? No, you had you had you been asking. Yes. If there's something new or interesting, I'm happy to. Um, yeah. Uh, the uh, the deputy foreign minister of Ukraine had handed over a letter from President Zelensky for PM Modi. Was it only about humanitarian aid or were are there other things that? <laughs> Okay, letter. You want to know the letter. You hadn't asked a question either. Microphone. Sir, letter ke baare mein tha sawal ki kya usme Pradhan Mantri... Neeraj, identify kar lijiye. Neeraj, News 18 India. Thank you. Kya Pradhan Mantri Narayan Modi ko patr mein Zelensky ne Ukraine aane ke liya mantrit bhi kiya hai? Who had a... You haven't asked a question. Sorry, I missed that. Sir, Shreedhar from the Asian Age. This Qatar case... Have the, uh, you, you mentioned that it's formally in the legal process. So, does it mean, has, have the charges been uh, revealed to the Indian authorities exactly what our uh, eight uh, former naval personnel have been booked under? And the second, this is more clarification. You spoke, you said FS has said that list of participants have already been declared. That's for the G20. Uh, Summit, that's what the question was. Okay. 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 Who else? And quick. Uh, second questions are very quick. Okay, Shishan, go ahead. So just to follow, Shashank Water from the Mint, so a very quick question on the Ukrainian Deputy Foreign Minister's visit. She, mm -hmm. In the statement, it mentioned that she had requested that it might be an opportunity for Indian firms to participate in the reconstruction of Ukraine, particularly on infrastructure. Uh, is there a sense of, did she put any more meat on the bones in terms of that proposal, uh, what they were specifically looking for? And also, has the Ministry of External Affairs received any interest from Indian companies looking to participate in any infrastructure projects in Ukraine? Infrastructure projects in Ukraine. Okay. Uh, who had you have go ahead. So, small clarification on another question. Clarification is that you have to press release if you have a deputy foreign minister to visit Penicali, you have to have a defense cooperation agreement. So, what is the possible defense cooperation in India or Ukraine? If you have to tell us about it. And the other thing is that the Pentagon papers have been trench leaked last week in the US. There are many disturbing details. So, what is the difference between the two and the papers? Because it is uh, spying uh, uh, whose hand was that uh, uh, this is relating to a recent report uh, uh, media report uh, on uh, UN democracy fund uh, which was established around 2005 following efforts joint efforts by 
India and US. Uh, the uh, report, uh, the media report says that in fact uh, the projects being implemented by the UN Democracy Fund, uh, it is also going to uh, uh, George Soros' Open Society and Foundation and its associates. Uh, so while we are taking a very hardline stand on uh, George Soros, uh, so it seems India is uh, not uh, putting uh, that kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, approach in in allowing uh, the George Soros Foundation to carry out these projects in various parts of the world. So do you have a comment on that? Comment. Okay. There's a hand behind. Okay. So what's the um, Just in, in addition to the other questions about Ukraine, uh, firstly, I would like to clarify that there is no plan at present to include Ukraine in the G20 process as they were included last year during the Indonesian G20 summit. Uh, and the second is your reaction to a statement made by uh, the Ukrainian Deputy Foreign Minister who said that some of India's actions demonstrate an unbalanced position. She was specifically uh, 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 referring to the visits to Moscow uh, by senior Indian ministers, including National Security Advisor Ajit Doval, and said, why don't they come to Kiev and st uh, as well uh, to balance out India's position? How would you respond to this idea that by not going to Kiev, India has not demonstrated that it is balanced in the war? OK. Uh, there was some, OK, that's it. Let me try to, there are a few second round questions. Let me see what I can. Shunja, yes, we, I, I, there have been talks of trying to get an IITs there. I don't know about EM's visit to Tanzania. He went to Uganda and Mozambique. Um, uh, but IITs is something that we are working on. Uh, so once we have a confirmation, which will be the first one. I think there are a couple of places that discussions are going on. But yeah, Tanzania could be one of them. Uh, once we have the good news, we'll certainly share with you. Um, Yeshi, um, there are a few questions on Ukrainian the. Um, Deputy Foreign Minister's visits and various elements. Yashi, no, I will not be able to position to share the contents of that letter, much as though you would like it. Um, I, we had issued, um, you know, um, a detailed press release on uh, what, you know, discussions uh, covered, and that's a good sense of how the conversations went. Um, you wanted to know in that, in that perspective. So let me not prejudge that already uh, to your part of it. Neeraj, aapka sawal tha koi invite I uh, uh, high level visits. Is there a cabinet exactly invite? Katha, uh, I say, Unone, they put me Katha, I say, 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 I as, as regards, um, let me just take the actually the defense uh, Ukrainian one. On the G20, so Hassani, your query, look, let me repeat what I said. I, uh, the question was specific about will India invite Ukrainian officials or president of Ukraine to address the G20 and I, my answer remains the same. Uh, we have answered this question. Uh, most recently, the foreign secretary answered it here and um, I have nothing new to add to the matter. Um, as regards, I'm not going to get into comments of uh, a visiting leader. I don't know in what context it was made. Um, if there is a visit to uh, Ukraine from any uh, leader here, we'll certainly announce that. Um, our position on the conflict in Ukraine has been articulated many times. I don't know if the word is unbalanced is not something that we have worked with. We certainly have worked towards peace, and I think that's what dialogue and diplomacy is what we've been stressing. So if there is a visit or anything like that, I will um, certainly share that, but I don't want to respond to uh, a specific word or I, uh, without knowing the full context. Um, as regards, Pranay, your question was about defense cooperation. We also mentioned that we can give assistance to assistance, de, 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 de sakte hai, medicines, medical equipment, etc. We are talking about our press release. And we also talked about this, that we can strengthen cooperation with Ukraine. But what are we going to do in the defense sector or what are we going to do? There is no such update about this. But there is a lot of deep cooperation and there are a lot of elements in the press release. Um, Pentagon Papers, let me start with that. Your question was, I haven't seen anything about those papers. I have no idea about India. I don't know so much about India. So I don't have any comments about that. Um, Shridhar, you asked about charges on um, the Indians detained in Qatar. My understanding is the charges have not been 
um, unsealed. It's not yet public, but as the legal process unfolds, perhaps they will be. Let's uh, we're keeping an eye out on that. Um, Manash, your question was regarding a media report regarding the UN Democracy Fund. You mentioned something about uh, um, George Soros. Um, I don't want to get into exactly what the report, there were a couple of reports, but let me just make a larger point which you are saying about dealing with organizations of uh, George Soros versus UN Democracy Fund. I think these are separate issues and I think there's been a uh, attempt to mix all this and have a perhaps a misleading image of the of the overall situation. So let me clarify. Uh, one, as a responsible member of the UN, uh, India participates in and promotes uh, various UN activities. These include uh, this includes contributing to a number of uh, voluntary funds and programs uh, of the UN. The UN Democracy Fund, the UNDEF that you referred to, is one of them. Uh, incidentally, this fund, this UN uh, Democracy Fund, receives uh, funding from, I think, nearly 45 uh, member states, including, of course, India, that you referred to. Now, UN UNDEF allocates the funds, or allocates the funds received through numerous projects across the world, um, that uh, projects being executed by various organizations, and in this process, it is guided by UN norms and procedures. Um, so, as I said, these funds are sent, uh, allocated for various projects and uh, across the world and then uh, various organizations implement this. So that's our uh, contribution and participation in the UN, uh, UN, UN UNDEF uh, Advisory Board or UN UNDEF uh, organization itself. Now, there are comments also related to, as you said, George Soros, etc. And I remember in the report there was some reference to EM's comments. Uh, look, on the EM's comments, I think um, they stand on their own merits. And I certainly wouldn't, you know, I don't think they require any clarification. Um, all I would say is EM's main point was that democracy uh, or people's verdict in democracies must be respected, not undermined. And this important principle should not be obfuscated. Um, and I, if I remember, the other last element was Soros' uh, organization related to those OSF, I think it was, uh, the Open Society. Uh, foundation are not being allowed to send money here. Look, that's a completely different issue. Um, insofar as any regulatory action is against any institution sending money to India is concerned, these are governed by our rules and regulations, and where necessary, relevant agencies uh, take suitable measures as per the law. So I think these are three separate elements, and I thought, uh, you know, I'll explain it at length on that. Okay, thank you very much um, for joining. Good afternoon.